As part of efforts to restore confidence in the nation's foreign exchange markets, the Central Bank of Nigeria has revoked the licenses of 4,173 Brio de operators. The Apex Bank accused the affected institutions of failing to observe regulatory provisions. In a statement, the bank's acting director, Corporate Communication, Sidi Hakama, said the list of affected BDC operators is available on its website. The CBN says it is revising the regulatory and supervisory guidelines for BDCs in Nigeria, and compliance with the new requirements will be mandatory for all key players in the sector. It further said the action is an exercise of the powers conferred on it under the Bank and Other Financial Institutions Act 2020, Act No. 5, and the revised operational guidelines for Bureau de Chong 2015. Joining me for discussion on this is a head of fixed income, Chapel Hill Denham, Oladia Pwajai. Thank you very much for joining us on TVC News at 10. What is the reaction to this move by the CBN and what is the import for the foreign exchange markets in Nigeria? Well, um, thank you very much for having me on this evening. And um, uh, firstly, I, I think it's not something that is surprising uh, to, to me. Uh, because when you look at what happened um, uh, earlier in the week when the central bank was actually intervening um, in the um, parallel market, they sold to over 800,000, uh, sorry, over 800 uh, broader change. And um, when you consider uh, the total number and uh, looking at uh, the number that was uh, that was sold to, uh, it calls to question that uh, what are the metrics that, uh, that was used by the central bank at that particular point in time. It only already meant that the central bank is already trying to see uh, the wheat from the shops, and uh, that's exactly what uh, what happened uh, now. It's something that is expected because um, the central bank is trying to institutionalize uh, the growth, the trend um, business. Uh, if the central bank is looking at a way where uh, there will be adequate uh, regulation, actually uh, governing or regulating uh, this um, business line. And I think that's one of the three reasons why the central bank is following this line. So I have to ensure that they have the capacity to monitor uh, the available number of uh, brood exchange in Nigeria. But do you consider this being strong enough to actually restore sanity, the much-needed change in the FX markets? Yeah, I, I think uh, when, you, uh, when you look at this in line with um, the drafts already circulated by central bank around... Um, ways to actually uh, revamp uh, the uh, the brood exchange um, uh, business operation. It calls to question that uh, when you are expecting um, 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 a, a, an average brood exchange to have like 500 million uh, Naira as a license, that's what you're talking about here too. Uh, but when you're talking about here one, you're looking at uh, 2 billion Naira as uh, the license fee. So it simply means that the central bank is already finding a way to actually ensure that most of these brood exchange business actually match together. And, uh, and I think uh, that's exactly why uh, the central bank is doing this. Like, for me, it is the best thing to do as we speak. Uh, because how would you be able to monitor the level of liquidity that you are pushing to the market if you are doing it with over, over 5,000 brood exchange in Nigeria? How would you be able to regulate them? So it, it makes it very difficult. And currently, the number that is still currently on the table I think they are just uh, the first, the ones that actually scaled the first audio. They are still going to be the second audio of the fact that where you need to raise capital and need to operate and also need to meet uh, the requirement of the, cent uh, of the central bank. So I think uh, for me, uh, by the end of the year, I won't be surprised if we don't have more than 200 uh, brew the chain business in Nigeria because it is not about the number, it's about the effectiveness. And that's exactly what the central bank is trying to, to actually bring to, to bear. So what more things do you think can be done to actually achieve that economy of our dream? Well, uh, I think um, currently the central bank is working its talk. And I think it's one of the first things that um, needs to come uh, to bear in a situation whereby people are losing uh, confidence in, 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 in the Naira. And uh, sincerely speaking, as we speak now, the central bank also still needs to continue to push liquidity into the market. We saw what happened uh, uh, earlier in the week, uh, where uh, Naira traded as low as um, 1,470 in the parallel market, uh, where he, whereas he was trading uh, north of 1,500. 
in the official market. So it tells you uh, clearly that we, we can get to a situation whereby the parallel market is trading lower than that, what we are seeing in the official market. And that this is a function of liquidity. So I think that the central bank mentioned that they started already. So if the central bank continue in this trend, because for a long time, we have people that are invisible, uh, that, that actually need effects for invisible activity. For example, people that need to travel, people that need to go on medical tourism, people that need to pay school fees. And most of these people can actually not meet, they, they are unable to meet their demands uh, from the Nafren window. So as a result of that, they need to resort to the parallel market. But with the establishment now of, of, of the new windows uh, for them through the BVC, so it simply means that uh, these people can easily meet their demands in the parallel market or through the BVC. And at the end of the day, it simply means that uh, we'll start seeing sanity actually returning fully into the market. Aladi Kwajai is head of fixed income Chapel Hill Denham. Thank you so much for talking to us on TVC News at 10. You're welcome. Thank you very much for having me on.